place has been called the Maldives of the Philippines. Um, it's pretty cool. Good morning. We are still at Atmosphere Resorts near Dumaguete. It's unbelievable. And today, oh, it's also very humid. And today we're gonna go to the Manjiod sandbar, the Maldives of the Philippines. I don't know, it looks spectacular. Well, we're gonna go, this morning we're gonna go to kind of like a beach. You wanna go? But first, as always, we're starting with the um, delicious breakfast. Bias, which I guess is close to where we take the boat. We were given the option of getting some Jollibee. Which, if you haven't seen, we tried actually in Manila. Uh, so go check out our first impressions. And of while Manila. we liked it, we didn't really want like old Jollibee on a boat in a little while. But we heard, we luckily were with a group of four locals and they were gonna go to a fish market to buy some like squid and stuff to grill on the boat. So when we heard that, it was like, oh my God, I would have signed up for that alone. So now I think we're walking towards the fish market to hopefully pick some fish to eat on a boat while watching dolphins on the way to a sandbar, I think is what is happening. Or maybe sounds, after. Sounds, it sounds too good to be true. <laughs> or maybe after, yeah, I actually have no idea what time it is. Walk, is he? Um, this is our first time in a local market, too. Like this is another thing I went into blind. I had no idea kind of what it was about, and it's just 
beyond any expectations. after I attempted to clean my lens was an introduction to the guys we were on the boat with. Guacherong Pinoy. Guacherong Pinoy. Guacherong Pinoy. Basically, it's four awesome young guys from Manila who run a really cool Instagram account that shares gorgeous, inspiring photos from all sorts of travelers around the Philippines. And what I think I thought I was explaining is that they agreed to share some of their drone footage with us, which is very exciting. If you've been here a while, you've probably heard offhanded comments about, should we get a drone? Uh, we probably won't, but for any YouTuber and for us in particular, and for my father, this will be very, very exciting to see where we're at from above. Actually, we've never wanted a drone more than we have in the Philippines because the landscapes here are just mind blowing when you're in, on the ground or whatever, but when you see people's drone footage, it's even more incredible. So anyway, we appreciate you watching this channel where we don't have a drone, but enjoy the footage uh, from Lock Watsarong Pinoys, which they told me means wandering Filipinos uh, in this video. So anyway, we shared a delicious, delicious seafood lunch while waiting for the weather to improve and hopefully have the sandbar up here. And speaking of bad weather and drone footage. Hoping that. Weather clears and we have beautiful sunshine, but it doesn't matter, it's still stunning. And drone footage to impress my father. Hi, Dad. Are you stood in the middle of the ocean? Huh? I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 1 p.m., and as you can see, I'm on my knees. It's still not totally out. We're leaving it too, so we'll see if we see it as like a sandbar. But even if we don't, it's so cool. It's kind of a bummer that we don't get to go to the one with like the stilted houses on them, but somebody from the resort was saying during COVID they hadn't been that well maintained anyway. I don't even know what you do there. So this is, I don't know, it's pretty spectacular. Pretty. Yeah, there's Pete in the middle of the ocean. And then here's the boat that we took to get here. 
So now I can sit on my bottom. I was on my knees. So we might get to see it as a sandbar. We are in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> past two now I'm not really sure we've been waiting a while we're still not seeing the tip of the sand but we're very close so we're gonna go for one more walk along it before we head back it's also starting to drizzle this place has been called the Maldives of the Philippines um, I haven't been to the Maldives I'm sure they're wonderful I wouldn't necessarily draw comparisons I'm sure they're both beautiful I think it's just because there's like a few of those stilted overwater houses maybe and so maybe we're not getting a comparison because we're not on that stretch, but also like, why do you need to compare the two? This is incredible. I'm sure the Maldives are incredible. It's been a really wonderful day. It's so close. I think what's really hard for me is that there's a sandbar over there that's been like exposed for a while. And like, it's just been taunting us. Way over there. We probably could have swam there. I know, but like, with the camera and stuff, it was like, we're just not equipped for aquatic activities, are we? It doesn't look that much different. It would be pretty cool though to run. You can run, nobody's stopping you. No. Just go, go, see you later. round and it's spiky. Leave in the comments below, is that a sea urchin? We're building a sand castle in the middle of the ocean. So humid in the morning. Good morning, it's the next morning. We got back yesterday, I don't think I ended the vlog, but that trip to the sandbar, even though we didn't really see the sandbar as sand, was incredible. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please leave a comment down below, and subscribe. Our previous video includes two other awesome excursions in the Dumaguete area with Atmosphere Resort, so check that one out below. And our next video will be from Sigihor, which is where we're going today. Watching. Oh.